Hey everyone, it's Dr. Levitt here. I'm at my office and this week here was a very low back pain kind of week for some reason. It's certainly nothing unusual. I see lots of people with low back pain every week, but this week it seemed like the, the number of cases really skyrocketed for some for some reason. So let's talk about low back pain. It inspired me this week to, to record a few thoughts for you about low back pain and the way I like to approach it, including some of the problems with the conventional medical diagnostic and treatment approach. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with statistics, but it's a hugely common problem. Millions of sufferers, as well as being a massive drain on the global economy as well. Um, so let's let's talk about low back pain. One of the first things that's important to know if you're a patient or anybody who suffers with low back pain is that the severity of the pain very rarely reflects the seriousness of the condition. This means the condition usually resolves on its own without any crazy medical interventions, and often the pain is much more severe than the condition is serious. I hope that makes sense, and it's really comforting for people to know, okay, this hurts really bad, but it may not be such a terrible problem in the, in the long term. So that's point number one. And point number two applies to those people who've had low back pain that's been assessed using imaging technology, like x-rays or CAT scans or MRIs. This is really, really important stuff. Now, when a person has low back pain and they get an x-ray or they get an MRI, we see stuff, right? We see disc degeneration, we see arthritis, we see disc bulges, we might see all kinds of different things that are visible on these imaging technologies. And when the, when the x-ray or the MRI goes up onto the light box, these days it's more like a, usually on a computer screen or something, the patient gets these images seared into their mind. I saw the disc bulging or I saw the white stuff that the doctor explained to me was arthritis, this sort of thing. And then they are inclined to sort of own, take ownership over this, this, this problem, this degenerated problem. Now here's the problem with that approach. There have been many, many studies cross-sectional all over huge populations of people that demonstrate that asymptomatic people, this is people who do not have any pain at all, will exhibit those very same findings on x-rays and MRIs. This follows sort of a generational pattern. So asymptomatic people, people with no low back pain, about 30% of people in their 30s, 40% of people in their 40s, 50% of people in their 50s, and so on, will exhibit lumbar disc problems, disc degeneration, disc bulges and herniations on MRIs. So if asymptomatic people with no pain have these same problems, how can we say that the person who has the pain has the pain because of that problem, right? And very similarly, on a parallel thought process, a lot of times the people who have the pain get better. Well, if you then re-MRI their spine, you'll still see the arthritis, you'll still see the disc herniations, you'll still see the bulges, and the pain is gone. So it's unfair to attribute the person's pain to whatever we see on an MRI or an X-ray in every case, because very often it's just simply not true. So what is driving the pain in these people? Don't get me wrong, disc herniations are not a good thing, they're not a healthy thing, but they're not usually the sole cause of a person's pain. There are other factors involved as well. And these can be structural, postural factors, inflammatory factors. They can be muscle tension or fibrosis, all sorts of other things that occur in the area of a disc bulge or herniation that are responsible for a person's pain and not just that which was seen on the x-ray and the MRI. So this is a really important thing to consider the next time an orthopedist or anybody tells you, I see something wrong on an x-ray or I see something wrong on an MRI. So I hope that's helpful to you, a new way of thinking and broadening the approach uh, about low back pain. So take good care.